I'm interested in natural phenomenological things such as light and such as lunar orbits and sequences, solar system phenomena, galactic kind of forces. These are the big things. I'm also interested in the microcosm too. I think it's sort of natural phenomena that really interests me and how you kind of work with that. I can work with that within the sculptural mode, within painting, within installation, but it's also the essence of materials, how materials speak to you. The others are very high, but I like it. But do you think it's sensible? Yeah. Oh, good, okay. No, it's great. It's really beautiful. What I use to describe these pieces is that they have an ever-changing nature. They're, they're really only still as far as you're still. And for every kind of degree of movement you, you affect or you change, the image in front of you changes. So this is a different process completely. This is a process where if I make a mistake or if I do something I don't like and I can just go over it. It's so much more relaxing. But because these are on wax, on beeswax, and they've got an image underneath the beeswax that I don't want to lose. I just want to work really, really with the lightest of touch. This is more associated with work that I've done from previous years. That this is a kind of link, this work, to link with the other series I was just working on. But what these are about are little symbols that are kind of language and nature-based symbols. And the others are about icon iconic shapes. But these symbols in them also have sort of iconic basic shapes to them. The circle, the oval, the nautilus. So they're really fundamental shapes too. Fundamental things about, about language and, and, and symbolism. You know, there's quite a cerebral aspect to my work rather than being emotional. So what I have happening right now is the show that's going to be mounted in a week. And I'm nearly together about it. I've got a few things to finish and I'm sure I'm going to be really burning the midnight oil. But I'm also working on the finishing the JP Morgan Chase. It's quite full on in relation to time management and organisation. And I'm not only organising myself, I'm organising teams of other people. I think what happens is that when an artist takes on a commission that might be of a bigger scale or more unusual in its nature and they have to work with industry, it's in, it seems to be inevitable that there isn't the industrial process set up or already in place to be, to be able to deliver to the artist that which they're seeking. So consequently, it's a learning process. It's, it's, it does set new benchmarks for everyone. That's, that's happening all the time with artists and various manufacturers. What materials you choose to use for a particular site or a particular project and the materials chosen determine how you'll approach the end result. And it will have very harsh light on it in the morning and then the light disappears as the sun goes over the west. The pieces to sit in this balcony to be highly radiant and they will reflect light onto the windows and the glass. From the foyer you can see everything. A lot of high-rise, ugly buildings, but that's what makes a CBD. It's the lunar phases of half a month. 16 motions from full moon to new moon. Artists have to think off, off the beaten track. 
They have to think in ways that aren't mainstream and run-of-the-mill.